Hey, what's going on you guys? It's your man James aka JP back again with another Arcade 1UP update video. So as you guys may or may not have known, Arcade 1UP leaked all of their new cabinets for Wave 2 on their website last night. I posted it on my community tab, so some of you may have seen it, some of you may have seen it elsewhere, or some of you may not even have any idea. Well, here are the new cabinets for Wave 2. So we have the Final Fight cabinet, which I did end up predicting and which was pretty much guaranteed because this was supposed to be released back along when they originally came out, but it was delayed. So we have the Final Fight cabinet with obviously Final Fight, 1944, Ghosts and Goblins, and Strider. That is a great cabinet. I'm looking forward to that cabinet and I may end up picking that cabinet up myself. We're also getting Space Invaders, which again I did predict and was also pretty much guaranteed because that was available in other regions of the world. So it's only right that they brought it over to the US and that includes Space Invaders Colors and Space Invaders Black and White, an iconic arcade game. I'm probably not going to pick it up, but I understand why it came out and I am happy to see it and I do love the cabinet design for Space Invaders. Now we're also getting Mortal Kombat, which I predicted a while back uh, due to some Easter eggs and a lot of people predicted this as well and requested this and this was like on the top of everybody's list. And this is the Mortal Kombat trilogy, which does include Mortal Kombat 1, Mortal Kombat 2, and Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, which is the far superior version out of the Mortal Kombat 3. Uh, if you had to pick between the regular and ultimate, ultimate is the better version. And we're also getting Golden T. Now, everybody, including myself, is pretty much let down about this. Uh, it's, I don't know, to spend $300 to play a golf game, and not just one golf game. They have Golden T Classic 01, Golden T 2K, Golden T 99, and Golden T 98. Uh, so, I don't know, this just seems like a wasted opportunity, there could have been so many other great titles, uh, chosen over this one, uh, but that's what they went with, so Golden T is one of the new cabinets, and then finally the last cabinet is the Karate Champ cabinet, now they didn't have any images of this cabinet for some reason, but it is going to include Karate Champ, Bad Dudes, Burger Time, and Caveman Ninja. Uh, this is a Data East cabinet, and this should be a really exciting cabinet. I have a feeling they didn't have images or whatever because they wanted to surprise people because they only told people that Karate Champ was going to be on here, but it is indeed going to be Karate Champ, Bad Dudes, Burger Time, and Caveman Ninja. So that should be a really great cabinet. Like I said, there's no images that I can find right now of it, but I am looking forward to that. So those are the new cabinets, but that's not it because I did find an article on this website uh, called PR Newswire, and they did an interview interview with um, Tastemakers, which is the makers of Arcade 1UP, for CES 2019, and I found some interesting news here. So not only do they have these cabinets that are slated to come out starting in February, but there's also talks of some other cabinets. So they're going to be having countercade cabinets and wallcade cabinets. Now the countercade cabinets we saw way back at E3 last year uh, in the background of a video. I believe they had a Qbert and a Pac-Man one. I'll have images on screen for you. Uh, so we've seen that already. It was in the background of that video. They never came into fruition. It looks like they're planning to bring those out now. And also the wallcade cabinets is interesting. Uh, I, I don't think I've ever seen a wallcade cabinet before, but that is pretty cool. So it's basically like a shrunken down version of the arcade cabinet. Uh, and you can hang it mounted on the wall so you can walk up and play it So basically the bottom half of the cabinet is missing and then the cabinet itself is going to be a lot thinner uh, So you can hang it up on the wall walk up to it play it it would make very cool wall design I think that is actually a really really good idea and I'm actually very interested in that you can hang it on your door You can hang it on the wall uh, I could see someone buying a whole bunch of these and kind of making like just like a wallpaper along their game room or whatever of these arcade cabinets so that is actually really really cool i'm actually very excited about that now there are no images for this that i can find at the moment i don't even know if they've been revealed yet uh like i said i just found this interview uh, and i'm obviously not at ces to take pictures but i'm putting pictures up of just generic uh wallcade cabinets uh, now I'm kind of wondering whatever happened to the cocktail cabinets that they said they were well They didn't actually say but there was leaked images that are going to be released I would imagine we're going to see those alongside these as well and these are all to come in the future uh, More games are going to be revealed at E3 So as of right now the only thing that was officially revealed by arcade one up themselves 
was the first five cabinets of Wave 2, which was Final Fight, Space Invaders, Golden Team, Mortal Kombat, and the Karate Champ cabinet, which they still haven't released the full uh, lineup of games for that, but it is going to be Karate Champ, Bad Dudes, Burger Time, and Caveman Ninja. So that is pretty much it for this video. That's all the leaked info I can find for Series 2 of Arcade 1UP from CES 2019. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you guys subscribe and like this video and also click that notification bell so you get notified when I post more videos because I will be posting more updates as they come out for Arcade 1UP, CES 2019 and beyond. So I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and also be sure to follow me on Instagram and also follow my second channel. Those links will be down in the description below. Stay tuned for more and as always, I'll see you guys next time.